My name is Danny McPolan. I'm a lecturer in civil and structural engineering at Queen's University, Belfast. Peter Rice was born in Dublin in 1935 and he moved to Dundalk where he grew up and from Dundalk he decided that he wanted to come to Belfast to study aeronautical engineering but when he came up to look at the university he preferred the design of the civil engineering building so he promptly changed his mind to do civil engineering. He graduated with a 2-2 degree so at that point He wasn't an absolute shining star. Um, He graduated and began working with Ovarab in London. And it was really after spending some time with Ovarab that he had a bit of an epiphany. And he then pursued an MSc, a master's course, in Imperial College London. And one of his early works was involved in uh, designing the roof of the Sydney Opera House, particularly working out the geometry of the shell structure and how it could be built and you know, given that this was in the 60s he was really using pioneering computing techniques to attempt to solve some very complex mathematical problems and really without Peter's involvement the Sydney Opera House could not have been built. He then uh, worked on his first true design which was the Pompidou Centre in France. Peter was exploring very much the use of materials and it was the gerberets which he created which are very much the iconic elements of the Pompidou Centre. The gerberets were originally designed by a German railway engineer and they are essentially cantilevered steel beams. They were cast steel and it's quite difficult to produce cast steel because to avoid any defects the the quality control has to be very very precise and during the manufacturing of the prototypes there were actually defects that occurred and the the cantilevers and the the gibberettes failed prematurely in true determined style they tried again and they got it right the the end result is that we have this fantastic building in Pompidou Centre where it's very much like the guts of the building are on the outside. You can see how the structure works. Peter very much, um, he was a humanist, and he wanted to think about what impression he left. The smartest designs, he felt, were not necessarily those which are very complicated or had the most technical challenge. It was often how they would be perceived by the public as they sort of interact with the building, when they touch an object, how do they feel? How does that building make them feel? And I think that was his style. It was about his human interaction, which was quite key. He was very much encouraging youth, and he believed that everyone deserved a chance, and that was very much part of his philosophy, which was developed at Arabs. He was very much a practical person, Much of his learning and mathematical brilliance wasn't taken directly from formula or from algebra, but he applied it in practice, and that's kind of what we're hoping to do with the workshops here, by getting the students involved in practical projects with the likes of the Meccano, where they have physical objects to handle, they can get a sense of the strength of the object and its ability to resist forces and bend and then they can try and incorporate that in a bridge which they have built and I think for me probably the most interesting part of that is that I had an idea in my head that there was a certain distance that they could span with the bridge and I was hoping that having these objects that they could um, be inspired to go as far as they could with the Meccano, they exceeded all my expectations. I didn't actually expect the students to be able to walk across the bridge and they (laughs) managed to do that, which was pretty exciting. And what was quite interesting was there's a lot of things that emerged during the project that we weren't anticipating. Some of the students who had a lot of energy were trying out so many ideas and some of their more academic colleagues were then able to sort of harness that energy and help them learn and explore how they were using the material. So it was, it was a very enjoyable project to be involved with. I think Peter Rice was very much an inspiration. He is one of our greatest alumni, and we really need to celebrate and acknowledge that.
as he matured, he has become one of the most influential engineers of modern times.